Ah, uh, yes. Worst character versus one of the best characters. Yeah. Two, one, but then he makes them work. <laughs> yeah, I, I was talking to Vinyl about this where I was just like, a lot of my, a lot of my referential experience versus Game & Watch as Kirby just kind of it was only from like Brawl and like some Smash 4, so I don't really know how this matchup goes in this game. Because like, you still had to avoid like uppies out of shield in all the other games, but uh, oh yeah, Chef can be helpful. It's not gonna be terribly. Up oh wait, does he reflect? Oh god, he reflects them. I yeah. Hate that. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of space in here. Really good stuff, but yeah, that uppie out of shield, it's gonna be killer in this matchup. Yeah. I will say for the aesthetic alone. Even if like Shep didn't work, but the aesthetic alone, this is great. I love black and white Kirby. Something that I have noticed with Glutamate since his switch to Game & Watch is he looks a lot more confident. With Sora, he was so afraid to approach every time. Uh, I wouldn't call that afraid to approach. That's what, like, Sora does. Uh, I feel like Sora is definitely like a hangback character. Game & Watch is also kind of, because he's just like super whiff punishy, right? And like, if he's able to like super capitalize on a hit, so you have like nair into nair into nair into nair, right? Uh, but like, it let, you can fish more uh, with Game & Watch, because like, the way... Not, not to keep talking about Nair, I'm actually not trying to make it sound like that, but like, uh, Nair is like a really good approach tool because of like the last hitbox is low, mm -hmm. so while he's rising, it's going in the inverse direction, and that can make approaching it really difficult, because like, if you're above him, or uh, in, the, in that like, 60 degree range above him and stuff like that, then like, you get to do double jump there, which bursts you up and then you hit, but then as you're landing, it's like going down with you, which could be like really, uh, really difficult. Let's go. Ooh. Hit him with the tiny bear. It's tiny, but powerful. Yeah. Kirby is a, is a, uh, a, a neutron star, uh, is a good way, to, is how I've always put it, is that his range is extremely limited, but if you are in his range, he's actually super strong. But, you know, if you just keep that in mind, it's like, like, I feel like uh, his, his biggest downfall. But if you get hit by him, oh, you're getting hit. Look, I think Vinny's uh, downfall today is just that he's been playing too much Animal Wealth and not enough Smash. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about, like, trying to chase... Game and watch like that. And you just got just gotta start baiting those out, but then it's a. I like the idea of town, because like, if you're able to get the positioning right, you could get like a, a grab on, on this formation and like sneak out an early kill with up throw. But easier said than done. Uh, Kirby going for grabs 
can sometimes be a little bit telegraphed. But you know, if you're if you're doing a lot of like fade back fares uh, or just like burst range down tilts or outside of your opponent's burst range down tilts, then you can kind of like mix it up. They also gave Kirby like a decent dash attack in this game. So yeah, it always surprises me yeah. how hard it hits and how fast it is. Yeah, that that move almost gave me hope. Almost. Almost. Uh oh. Jesus, the chair almost killing. I kind of, I kind of, I see what oh, he's going bomb. for. I see what he's going for for like the up B, but Mr. Uh, definitely like really difficult. Uh, the, like the up B in this game like has like a bigger scoop box and actually has the it goes upward a little bit. Kirby used to have no hitbox going up when he rose. I think like Pyra's up B where there's no hitbox going up. Let's see. But this game he has like a little bit of one. But yeah, it, it move is frame 23. Uh, kind of bad time. Yeah, it's not gonna be really hitting anybody. More like a surprise. But are we really gonna go back to town and city? Yes, we are. I know that Lionel was considering going Fox for this matchup, which I, I can understand, but that's also a pretty bad matchup for Fox. Um, honestly, in terms of like what you know more, I would probably stay with Kirby. Oh my god. But it looks like we're going to the skies. <clears throat> Getting it hopping into the R Wing. Hey, maybe Luda's not too familiar with this matchup. Yeah. But do you need to be as game and watch? Um I'm trying to think from like I'm trying to like honestly answer that. Uh I would say that, like, if you're not sure, uh, like, the way he goes for, like, nerds and stuff like that, yeah, you can actually already see it. Vinyl's, like, kind of, like, just sneaking in because now he has the speed to, like, just capture the landing. Is it amounting to, to a lot? No. And I think that's, like, twofold, partially uh, what Fox can do. But also I think it's just Vinyl oh. not being really familiar with how to Ooh. extend or, like, really make the hit matter. Still exploded. Yeah. Yeah, Fox, super light, same weight as Kirby. Uh, same weight as Kirby, with those mechanical boots? Yep. Dang. Yeah, they, they're uh, aluminum. Just really light. All right, well, good thing is, a Vinyl did finally realize he does have the reflector. But he's for getting back down. Dashing in like that is not going to work. You know, if Kirby's not going to grab, at least Fox can do something with those. Oh, this is such a <laughs> this is such a Kirby main playing Fox. This is so funny. I love it. This is like I do the same goddamn thing when I the 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 Kirby pipeline is when you get tired of uh, what Kirby can't do, you just want to play Fox. All of us have done it. Mike, myself, Vinny, like, this is so funny. Oh, this is why you don't like Kirby. You can burn playing Kirby. Bro, I made Kirby for 15 years. <laughs> you didn't know this? I didn't know that. You thought I just had a grudge against Kirby? Yeah. Yeah, I have a grudge against Kirby because I spilled my life into him. <laughs> oh, you didn't know this. Yeah, I'm a Brawl player, played Kirby the entirety of Brawl, and then, like, Pretty much the entirety of Smash 4 as well. I dropped him at the very end because I was tired of it. Jeez, you poor thing. Yeah. He wasn't even good in Brawl. He, his, of those three games, Brawl is probably his best iteration. Give me back his air hammer. Oh my god. <laughs> his hammer in Brawl was so fucking good. Anyway, we're not talking about this now. <laughs> yeah, no, I, when I say the character's really bad, I'm basing it on a lot. <laughs> I know a lot years. about the character. Anyway, <laughs> anyway is, is Vinny going to be able to get down? Oh, he gets down and punished. Where are you going, Oh, Vinny? God. Where oh, God. Going? I thought the chair was just going to break him in half. Yeah, this is kind of over. I saw, I saw Zui advance in a single game over Dita. Where do you... All right, that set's over. Where do you want to go? You know what? Reverse is baskets. Three in baskets? Okay. Yep, game number two. Rehaving lots of firsts on the baskets. 20. And doing a much better.